Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I think a lot of you have been waiting on me to do this follow-up video here. I wanted to give everybody out there who might be involved with BioGrow a little bit of time to make their response videos, and there have been a lot. I watched about 10 of them. The most interesting one was, funny enough, from Mark Lobliner, who, if you want to be technical, I wouldn't have even addressed in that previous video because I was talking about tested athletes who compete in tested powerlifting, bodybuilding, other things like that, and who claim to be natural. That isn't Mark. So why he chimed in is beyond me, but here's kind of what he had to say to start. So I've been getting a lot of dislikes and stuff because some other YouTubers, some loudmouth, did a little video about BioGrow is banned. My straight up opinion of BioGrow and if it's banned and if it's hardcore and if my kids aren't natty because I put it in their protein shake once. And I, I don't really think I'm a loud mouth guys. I speak relatively softly. I have a deep voice but I'm not a loud mouth so I'm not really sure what he meant by that. But here's one of the key points he made. Listen, it's colostrum. That's all it is. It's colostrum. Oh yeah? Well, wait a minute. It, it, it's, it's just colostrum? Are you sure? It's colostrum! It's freaking colostrum, guys! It's not drugs, but it's freaking colostrum! It's not D-Ball. It's not Trenbolone. It's not a pro-hormone. Now, wait a minute. You, you're, you're telling me that people are charging... 30, 40, 50 dollars a tub for colostrum? Are you sure this is colostrum? Is that really what you want to say? It's still colostrum. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. You know, the thing is, that's a good thing. And as someone who used to be involved with the production and distribution of PEDs and helping athletes who were trying to become professional at the university level pass their drug test, I tend to be really up to speed on U.S drug laws on PEDs and interestingly enough it's a good thing that this product is just colostrum and this goes for all of you out there who've been sponsored by it and all of you who are on YouTube have been telling people to go buy it and giving discount codes and here's why. IGF-1's current status in the United States doesn't matter the source. If you have extracted it, if it is no longer exactly the way it was found in food, now obviously there's IGF-1 in a lot of foods floating around in there in, in, in small amounts. It's not a drug if you leave it like that, but if you extract it and concentrate it, it is now classified as IGF-1 from a controlled substance perspective. So you've got a real problem. If that's actually what they had done, then we have a substance that is legal for you to possess, but it is illegal to sell for the purpose of human consumption inside the United States. You can get a lot of trouble for that. So anyone who is manufacturing it or distributing it with the intent that people are going to consume it, they're, they're not saying it's for research purposes only or for animal research, this is intended for human consumption, they would be in a little bit of trouble if the FDA or the FBI were to look into that a bit. That could be a problem. And if that was true, then all of you who are promoting its use and telling people where to buy it and giving discount codes would be promoting illegal activity through your YouTube channels, which would make you subject to a permanent ban of your YouTube channel and closing it down. So remember that all you guys who are promoting these sort of things. But fortunately for you guys... Listen, it's colostrum. That's all it is. It's colostrum. And as far as the, the idea that people are saying, oh, I'm going to go buy it because it's banned, well, you guys are stupid. I've already told you it. IGF-1 isn't orally bioavailable at a high enough rate that you would see gains off of it. IGF-1 works just fine, but it's not orally bioavailable, but that doesn't matter as far as your natural status or you breaking the rules of a federation. If any of you who compete in something tested were to take a bottle of testosterone cypionate with testosterone cypionate clearly on the label, hold it up on camera, people could see what it is, and it says that on the label, you were to pop the cap and drink the whole bottle, you have just broken and publicly broken the rules of your federation. You have broken the rules of your, your doping rules for your sport. That is grounds to kick you out of your sport. It doesn't matter that testosterone cypionate isn't orally bioavailable. It is listed as a performance enhancing drug. 
IGF-1 in a concentrated form, and it's clear, clearly on the label, is listed as a performance enhancing drug. Just because you don't make gains from it doesn't mean that you're not going to be kicked out. And anyone who did basic research on this before spending $50 on the product would know it doesn't do anything. They would know it's shit. But that is besides the point. I never said in the other video that it was useful. I've told you guys before that it's nothing more than placebo. And to take growth factors in any IGF-1 or any growth factor orally, I've told you guys it doesn't work. I didn't change that in the video. I don't know why anyone read into that. I said they broke the rules if they took a product that had it on the label. Whether it was mislabeled or not, the intent was to get a benefit because it's a banned substance right there on the label of your product. Even if it wasn't even in there, you still intended to put that substance into your body. That was the purpose for which you consumed it. You broke the rules. Now, fortunately for you guys, apparently it is just colostrum though. So let's talk about that for a minute. Well, if it's just colostrum, how in the hell is anybody justifying selling it? How are any of you out there promoting people spend their hard-earned money on colostrum at those sort of prices? Because honestly, I can get colostrum for about 7 or $8 per 100 grams. I can get it for, if I buy it by the kilo bulk, I can get it for about $50, $60 for an entire kilo of colostrum. So how do we have people selling this product for 180 grams for up to 70 or $80? Now, Mark on Tiger Fitness sells it, right now he has an offer for $49.99. That's the lowest price I really see out there. So he's got it cheap for 180 grams. But how much is that? Have you guys looked at any of the studies on colostrum? Colostrum is not proven to boost IGF-1. It isn't proven to give performance enhancement. It is still a controversy. There are a few studies that have shown it works at very, very high doses for long periods of time, but there are also studies that show no benefit. And I'll link you guys one of them down below, one of the pivotal studies done back in 2003 that showed if you take 60 grams of colostrum versus 60 grams of whey protein, there was no change in blood work, no benefits after four weeks, but if you took it for eight weeks straight, that they saw some small improvements in circulating IGF-1 measurable statistically significant levels of circulating IGF-1, some improvements in strength. So it actually has some benefits in that study, but there have been other studies that didn't find these benefits. But you have to take 60 grams a day for eight weeks straight. Well, if you look at one of those 180 gram tubs, if it's just colostrum, that is three days worth. That is three days worth. So you would need 10 of those containers per month for two months straight at $49.99, that is a thousand dollars worth of this product to get a very small benefit. So how is anybody justifying charging this kind of price for colostrum? Because it better not have extracted concentrated IGF-1 in it because then it would be illegal to sell. Somebody could get into deep shit for that, including the people who are distributing it including the people who are giving promotional codes for it. But you could find yourself in a little bit of trouble down the road for that if someone were to really make a big deal about it. So people are charging this much and they're charging five times what colostrum actually costs. You can get it for a fourth or a fifth of that price if you just go buy colostrum itself. So the price is being massively jacked up and to get the benefit shown in, in the few studies that have shown a benefit, you would have to buy a thousand dollars worth of this stuff to see a small benefit. So for all of you channels out there who are promoting it and selling it when it's just colostrum, shame on you. And for those of you who saw that it says IGF-1 on the label and you're still choosing to compete as a natural, shame on you. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Bicephius. It's colostrum.